Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Paladin! The Paladin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Tony! Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, you talk about must-see TV. This guy is as watchable as any fighter on the roster. His longtime core man, Eddie Bravo, says he'll train six hours straight. Tonight we're scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Nobody is going to out-condition El Kukui. Tony Ferguson. Oh, nice offering there by the What a shot to the body. His opponent crumbled, but not out yet. Shots being landed on both sides. Ferguson gets caught by the inside leg. Nice jab, follows up with a nice right hand. Switch kick to the body by Ferguson. Missed with that right hand. There's the kick. Stringing his shots together now. Pimblet gets the takedown there. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping the full guard. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC. And you're seeing why. Right, Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Ferguson's back in full night. What he has to do here is just try to stay relaxed. Big explosive actions, panicky actions, are what gets you submitted a lot of times. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Pimble. Oh, right into Mount. Pimblet getting touched here repeatedly with these ground and pound strikes from the top. Referee's not going to bail you out. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Good solid strike on the ground. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Now inside the cloak, trying to set up a choke here. That submission looks tight. What a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Gets side mount, and now maybe the bottom jump will be there. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Just work. Come on, I'm standing up. Just work. Well, he's on his back, but he's landing. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Great job landing the strike from his back. Now he's going full mount. Under a minute to go. Pimblet's trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in.
trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, block. he gets denied. Block! Great job, block. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. It's work, my stand is up. It's work. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. Right. Second round, straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. Make sure we stay a little safer, though. There was a couple opportunities he had to grab some submissions. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. All right, here we go. This next round is underway. He got worked in that previous frame. We'll see if he has recovered here as he enters this next round. You don't recover in a bit, so he needs to extend the recovery time. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Straight left, but that's a miss. And there's a takedown attempt. Ferguson, strike attempt there as well. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Head kick lands. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments to that. He's taking too many of these shots on top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting. He's being reactive. you got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attack. That was a big check. Shots too clean, and now a cut is opened up. Oh, they're trying huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Attempting an arm bar here. What a tight arm bar. All he's got to do now is get his hips into the back of the elbow to get the finish. Oh, now he's in trouble. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks the submission of Big Ron Oh, how about that transition to top position? Beautiful work by Ferguson. Oh, another submission attempt by him. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Patty Pimble. Under two minutes now to go. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch is starting to land from the top position. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Pimble. Great submission defense. 
Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Keep moving those hips until you get your guard. El Kukui getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Lands with the ground and pound here. And another one, another strike from the top, lands for him. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Relentless pressure from the top by Patty Pimble. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Pimblet. Another ground and pound strike lands. And there you go, again, half guard. 20 seconds to go round two. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Final seconds here. Good work from the top here by Pimblet. Another ground and pound strike gets home. The way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. All right, All right round three coming up next. So there's the end of the round. He has been committed to that body work all night. And certainly paid off over those previous five minutes. Yeah, he's investing in the body. He's not taking out withdrawals. He's depositing into body punching. And now it's showing itself. He's made an investment. Let's see how that investment pays off as we go forward. Always better to be making a deposit than a withdrawal. Oh, yeah, you got to stop taking withdrawals in all situations of your life. Ready your fight. relationship, your, your, your fighting, Ready. everything. Five minutes to go. And he Pimblet gets caught by the solid uppercut there. He's a hard guy to hit. That one certainly found the target. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Well, that move right will work nicely done there by Patty Penner. <laughs> punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got it hurt very bad. Oh, that's right hand. I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picket. Go and pick the fruit. Clean <laughs> with that offer. Dude's in a good flow state, landing punch after punch. Tremendous head kick last this guy. Just hard to know what's coming from Tony Ferguson. Hard to know which leg he's going to lead with. Single leg takedown attempt here. And did that get you out of your seat? Beautifully done by him there. Oh, man. I jump up and down. Am I watching the Olympics or a big <laughs> martial arts fight? You don't see single legs this good unless you're watching a real high-level wrestler. Pimblet's eye is starting to swell shut. Passes to half guard. There it is. Now he's going to bottom. Three minutes now to go in the fight. <laughs> well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Pimblet. Well, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Oh, slick reversal right there. Great job not only reversing the position, but getting to your dominant position. Pimblet's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. 
so much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy, trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Under two minutes to go in our third and final round. Oh, nice transition there. You call that a reversal? Yeah, you turn your defense into offense. Defensively, you switch position and you go right on the offensive. That's exactly what he did. Oh, that Darce choke is tight. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Are right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Another strike gets through from the top position. He passed the half guard. Great defense by the defensive fighters. El Cuckoo, he's looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. Oh, right into Mount. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his striking. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a great job of doing just that. Ferguson's right back to the full mount. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. It might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in a full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Mimlich back in full guard now. And there you go, again, half guard. Oh, an incredible fight as long as it played out. We'll need the judges' scorecards. Tremendous back and forth affair tonight. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 29-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Tony El Kakui Ferguson! Well, must see TV every step of the way. El Kukui, Tony Ferguson getting his hand raised inside the octagon. That has become a familiar sight over the years. Tony Ferguson is a butcher. He slices ah. and dices all of his opponents up, and tonight he did that again in order to get this victory. Great job, Tony.